and yet I took a book and I said, oh, that they have rejected me in the Okay. As you know, don't know considering, he has lost so many times, Nigerians have also rejected him. <laughs> if you say, for a lesson, we did not contest. For a lesson, we never participated. That shows Nigerians have rejected us. It's okay. You that contested <laughs> and failed <laughs> woefully, Nigerians have forgotten what he rejected you. Therefore, pack and go home. of you do not understand the fight that is going on. You think it is these people here. Ah, go and sit down. Who are these people? Who are, who are these people? These people are a lot of people. Let me tell you what is going on. Can I tell you? Do you want to hear? You are sure? See what is going on in Nigeria. And I have no regret at all at all. And we have no regret at all at all for supporting President Aswaji Bola Tribu. Yes, I have no regret. I have no regret about it. All these things you are seeing, there's a Tiki group, there's Peter D group. And there are some few governors of PDP who believe I'm a problem to them, and I'll continue to be a problem to them. The article group believe that I and my team stopped them from becoming president. We stopped injustice. What we stopped was what? Injustice. All we wanted was equity, fairness, and what? And we told PDB, if you don't allow this, you will pay. I am, am I hiding it? Do you want to tell them they will pay for it? So what you are saying, I think you grow believe that we stop them from being a president. Obese group. They lobbied me so much, yet yeah, they cannot deny it. And I said, Look, this one will fly. If I say it will not go to where I will not, no, it won't fly. So there's also a gang up that look, enough is enough. They must fight us back. They are fighting themselves. Do you know what I mean? There's another group within the PDP who wants to be president. And they said, look, if we don't do anything now, we'll have a problem. But I can assure you they'll have a problem. <laughs> I can assure you they'll have what? A problem. And there's also another APC group. I will tell you the truth. I know. I know. I know. Very prominent. Let me tell all of you. All these people combined, they will lose. All these people combined, they will do what? They will lose. I can tell you that because you know why? When you stand by the truth, the truth will always save you. They are standing by their own personal interest. They, they say they will clash. They will clash. They will clash. What's happening in PDP now? Let me tell you. In 
premier prix. They said that Babo should go. I'm not a friend of Dambagu. Dambagu never supported me. Yes. It's correct. Yes. It's correct. Yes. yes. Dambagu never supported me. Yes. Do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. He never supported me. Yes. But see, the truth must be told at all times. We agreed that Damagu should complete the tenure of IU. We agreed. But let me tell you why you should be careful in trusting people. Those of them who sat with us that agreed on that, I saw something and I said, listen, hey, this man, this man, like he can't trust him. And then he's better go and seek for interpretation of the constitution of PDP. And it came out to be true. Why? If they want to present themselves to be president or vice president. So the matter went to court since July. And in that meeting, the former national legal advisor that was suspended, the senior advocate of Nadal Arturo CJ here, sir, you are reading, you are watching, you are, you are, you are, uh, you are looking at your social media. I want you to take this home to the body of senior advocates. In the meeting where we agreed, that we should go and seek for the interpretation of the constitution of the PDP. The 2015 constitution was not the same as 2017. As by 2015, we have a chairman and a deputy chairman from the South. We never had a chairman and a deputy chairman from the North and a deputy chairman from the South. Now, in 2015, a problem arose where the national chairman had a problem. And who would take over? The deputy chairman and from the south. So, problem came. How can we allow the south? And to cure that error, in 2017, we had an amendment of the constitution. What we now said, that there should be two deputy chairmen where if the national chairman from that zone has a problem, the deputy chairman should be able to complete his uh, table. I will never zone to north, south, north, east, northwest, or south, south. We zone North and South. Chairman go to North. Secretary comes to South. Now in their own understanding, which is not to our own knowledge, they say the chairman should come, should be this person. I have no business. I have no business. We have shown it to the North. We have said to the north, anybody who is a chairman, he comes from the north. Now they make it to look as if we zone north central, northwest, north east. No, we never. We never did that. And now this problem came. And so people say, look, it is better to go to the court to seek interpretation of the constitution of the party. The National League Advisor showed us out who concord that there should be an interpretation of the PDP constitution. 
He now because if I'm not set, I'm going to play the game. The court, after argument upon argument from July, and then reserved judgment. Just to tell the court said, listen, look at the PDP constitution, it's very clear. And what does it say? It's clear. Now it says, not and the uh, south. And that in event of any problem where the chairman had a problem, the deputy chairman from that zone should be the one that will complete his uh, tenure. That was all. There was nothing more. And in any event, Chairmanship is not by appointment because of the critical committee. If you want to bring somebody appointed to superintend over an elected national working committee, can he work? The court said, listen, if you want a chairman, it should be by national uh, convention. It doesn't matter. We must confront it not. Nobody is saying it shouldn't come from the north. But when we by convention, by election. When we kick that, your brother, Ocho Secondus, we kicked him out. Yes, we did. Yes, we did it. And we have no apologies. We have no apologies. We did. Kicked him out. Now let me tell you what happened. When we kicked him out, the South South did not produce the acting national chairman. The deputy national chairman from the South, who from the Southwest, took over and midwived the convention that brought in the new chairman. Assuming they are saying that that is what it should be. It will suit me. Somebody that would, would have been before that election would have come from the south. Uh, south. Why did we kick out Secondus? Who kicked him out? He wanted to bring uh, his cousin Teleco. Get out. Get out. Who are you? Who are you? Who kicked him out. I'm not regret about it. Yes. Yes. Yes, I have no regret about it. And it's true. Who we'll get him out? 